So here we are. I'm all set up. Well, I'm not polar aligned or anything, and I I think I'm balanced. But I'm. I does anybody have any tips for balancing a star adventurer? Because I always put the weight where it you know it doesn't sort of move when it's horizontal, but then it all just drop into this kind of position. This is like the first time I've used it properly. So yeah, any tips there, welcome. Luna's here, because a lot of people have asked about her because um, she was missing in a couple of videos, but she is here. Looney! What you doing? <laughs> yeah, you can't see but the ball. She's dropped the ball right at the base of the tripod. Um, so yeah, just waiting for darkness now. A um, little bit about the rig. So it's a Star Adventurer Pro on an EQ6R mount. This is a 3D printed adapter. We've got the Altair Astro 269 ProTech camera. We've got a 0.8 reducer and we've got the Altair 60 EDF scope. Now this whole rig was kind of like what I was intending to use if I went on holiday um, this year. But as you know, Covid has struck and holidays you know it may not happen this year because like work is really really busy etc so yeah let's give it out uh, a try out in my back garden okay i've sorted the whole balancing thing i think yeah yeah that looks better We'll kill some time first though, right? Okay, so we've actually lost Astro Dark until the end of July, um, and then even then it's only like a little bit. But here's the moon. That's as close as I can get with this lens. So yeah, it's taken a while to get dark, um, well, sort of semi-dark, but we're getting a nice sunset and it looks a little bit hazy, so I'll have to see how the subs come out later. Okay, so it's dark enough so that I can polar align now. Um, so I'm. That's a uh, series just decided to talk to me. Okay, um, so yeah, I'm going to use the polar align tool in SharpCap. I've set the camera so that we can see some stars, and it's. I'm just going to follow the on-screen instructions, so it's saying press next button before rotating the RA axis, so I'm pressing next. Now it's saying no, now rotate the RA. Which I've done. It's telling me my polar alignment is poor, which I guessed it was because I literally just placed the tripod down roughly pointing north. And I'm now just going to adjust the latitude and Altaz bolts on the base of my Star Adventurer. So I'm going to pause this because I am out of practice. Whoa, <laughs> that took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. And it's mainly because I am seriously out of practice. Um, I think that's probably about as good as I'm going to get it. So I'm going to move on to imaging. I've got a bit of a crazy method for finding my target. Um, I'm going to hold my phone right against the back of the camera 
and literally move the star adventure and use the compass in my phone to find the target. Now you're probably thinking, oh well the compass will be affected by like the metal and yes it is but it's good enough to get me close. So yeah, let's give it a try. Remind me next time to set my tripod higher. <laughs> See ya. Oh my gosh, and there's bats flying around as well. I uh, successfully found my target and I'm now imaging and I am making use of Deep Sky Stack Alive to see how it's coming along and I've also opened up the image in Astro Pixel Processor just to really give it a massive stretch just to see if there's anything there because I'm doing super short exposures and at a higher gain so it's a lot more it's a lot noisier and I'm also not using the cooler either. I just thought I'm just gonna have a pretty relaxed evening so yeah I'm just gonna gather as many subs as I can so it it's still so hot outside I decided to literally give it up and I'm now stacking pretty much like 139 frames of Seder. Um, I took some darks in sharp cap and I've literally loaded it all into um, Astro Pixel Processor and I'm just letting it do its thing as you can see it's probably gonna take a while because there are Basically because I imaged at a higher gain than Unity gain on the 269 or this, well this applies to any camera really, you lose a bit of dynamic range but if you stack more frames you start to claw that dynamic range back. So yeah, more frames the better there. Um, but yeah, um, also welcome to my new sort of Astro Studio setup. I've got myself a new monitor, um, that's not my image, that's from Hubble. And yeah, this is um, where I uh, will be making videos and stuff. Okay, so that was my first video with me using the Star Adventure app actually seriously. I've had a play around with it before but not very much so it was good to actually be able to get out there and use it and, and see what we could do. That said it wasn't my most successful imaging session and I'm not one of these people that will gloss over everything and say oh yeah this was perfect but it wasn't. Um, I don't know if my polar alignment was slightly off and I know in the video I showed you the sharp cap tool that said it was pretty good. I do suspect Luna might have accidentally have knocked the tripod leg because she was literally bombing around. There was bats flying everywhere and she was just like, ah, chasing after them. I'm sure you can imagine. So anyway, that brings me on to this. Next time I'm going to add this on top of the 60EDF. It's the Altair Mini Guider and I'm going to try guiding with the um, Star Adventurer, see if I can get any longer exposures. Other than that, um, finding the target went well and using sharp cap went well and yeah, I came out with an image that I, I'm okay with, it's not like blown me away, 
but it was a really short exposure time in general so it needs a lot more time but the weather out here <laughs> here in Britain we complain when it's cloudy we complain when it rains we complain when it snows and we complain when it's hot and we complain when it's you know too sunny and too warm so we're never happy and right now it's I'm pretty sure it's like 30 degrees which is a bit crazy so yeah um, hopefully some more clear nights but maybe a little bit cooler that'd be quite nice so anyway thanks for watching my video and um, keep an eye out for the next one and I'll see you all soon